Eleven. Okay, welcome to yet another episode of DevOps Party Games. This is a new kind of DevOps party game in that it's at a different time of day. So if you're joining us from somewhere other than the US, it's not the middle of the night for you. Uh, <laughs> I am uh, one of your hosts, Matt Stratton. Joining me as a new host, specifically from the non-US area. So my other co-host is? It's me, it's Dan. So happy to be here. So happy to be kicking off the EMEA league here season two of devops party games we're gonna have a really good time thank you to all who've joined us of course on twitch if this is your first devops party game uh thank you for coming along we're, we're trying to optimize for someone other than maddie this time around <laughs> so uh thank you for joining uh if you are a returning guest on twitch thank you for returning we're gonna have a lot of fun today so the uh, couple things before we introduce our players, uh, especially if we've got people who are new to the show, we're going to play a couple different games here, a couple different party games uh, from the folk, fine folks Jackbox. The first one is called Quiplash. The second one is called Drawful. We've got a roster of eight players who will be uh, here to entertain and amuse you for the next hour or so, but this is an inter interactive show, so... Join in the chat, you know, let us know your answers that you think might be funny. But most importantly, once the game gets going, you'll have the opportunity to do what we call joining the audience. And we'll explain how that works in a minute. But it means you get to vote on the answers you think are the funniest and the best. And that's what makes this really the game that it is. But speaking of those amazing roster of players, and this is when Matt finds out if he reset the uh, OBS scene properly for the right first person. We're going to find out in a second. Uh, our first guest is not that. Uh, sorry for the spoilers. Our first guest is Stormy. Stormy, welcome to the show. Hello. I got caught a little bit unawares. <laughs> Hi, I'm Stormy. I am I do the DevOps thing, and I stream on Twitch sometimes. Uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Next up, uh, joining us for the first time, but not for the last time, hopefully, it's Sirhat. Sirhat, say hello. Hey, everyone. Uh, great to be here with DevOps Days, folks, friends. Uh, I'm usually not on call these days, but uh, I'm, I specifically want to be on call just because I want to have some fun. So <laughs> I'm on call right now. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> We're doing it live, doing it live. Our next guest is Lucy. Lucy, welcome to the show. Welcome to some DevOps party games. Hello. Yeah. Hi, I'm I'm currently Lucy Davenhart, and I'll leave it there because if I try to inter introduce you to everyone, we'd be here. Uh, I'm one of those strange internet people the media warns you about. Fantastic. And who's next, Dan? It's the one, the only, the venerable, the unforgettable, Par Sharknado. <laughs> Oh, hey, that would be me. Yeah. Uh, I, and you're the yeah, one who's I'm been Paul. on the show before. You have no excuses. And I'm super excited to be here uh, competing for my country, Austria, because apparently Matt doesn't know how geography works. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get where we need to get to. Uh, but also, again, back to my not knowing how geography works. Uh, and, and referring to your native country, we have Chris Howard. Hey, uh, I'm Chris. I'm DevRel at AWS. I am an American Australian living in Germany. So, uh, good day, guten tag, and sup. <laughs> Who's Crikey. next, Frosty? Ah, uh, the next man needs no introduction, but I'm going to give him one anyway. It's Kai. Hey, everybody. Uh, Kai Hoffman, uh, developer avocado at sivo.com, where we do Kubernetes as a service. And our uh, rounding things out. Nope, nope, we got two more. Sorry. Our next player is Sharon. Very excited to have you on the show. Shalom from Tel Aviv. Here, um, representing myself and my newly founded company, because I'm a mature adult, called RTFM, please. Oh. <laughs> excited. No, we got to hear about more about that. Breaking news. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Sure. And now, <laughs> rounding out our panel is who, Frosty? Last, but certainly not least, my man not from Japan, Kobus. Well, hello there. 
Uh, I'm also from AWS, and they managed to trick me to move from rubbing DevOps on things into marketing of all things. I'm also <laughs> in developer relations. No one told me it's marketing. <laughs> Them's fighting words ready to go, throw down right? there, Kovis. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and uh, move into our first game, which is Quiplash. So the players uh, are all joining in the game. We'll be sharing the game screen with you on the stream in just a second. But we're going to explain a little bit how the game is going to work. So all of these uh, players are going to get two different prompts on their device. Maybe it's a fill in the blank. Maybe it's answer to a question. These prompts are all somewhat DevOps tech cloud themed or something, at least something that I thought was funny. And they need to come up with a great answer to it. Now, what will happen is one other person's going to get the same prompt. So then they're going to go into the cage match battle for your votes as well as the, each other's votes to whichever one was, was the best. And use the word best, whatever makes sense to you. So in a second, when the screen is going to come up for you, you're going to get a code on your screen where you can go on another device uh, to jackbox.tv, enter that room code, and that will let you uh, go ahead and join the audience. So um, we're going to go ahead and uh, do what I just promised and start up the stream. So players, uh, what you're going to find we're out on. is probably that <coughs> I've got to the game Quip audio too loud. Okay, cool. Um, by the way, if the game audio seems too loud on the stream, like let me know in the chat and I'll try to fix it uh, because there's a lot going on at once. So players, what, what's happening now, the game is explaining itself and you can't way, hear it, but it's okay. The there's there's subtitles, so that's the thing. Um, the Dan, why don't, you know, You've you've seen some of the shows before. I know it's always been you know the middle of the night for you. But what what are you uh, what are you looking forward to here? Well, we're we're letting the players uh, join. By the way, go ahead in the audience. Go ahead and go to Jackbox.tv and enter that room code. So I'm looking forward to uh, two words: both mirth and merrymaking. That's generally what we're looking for from the program. Uh, you know, the, the fun thing about the Jackbox games and the fun thing about the, the crowd that we assembled to sort of play these games is that it's not necessarily about who wins and loses. It's it's more about who wins and who gets destroyed. No, it's more about having a good time, right? So the idea here is just for all of us to, to have that good time and to have that good time in a way that respects the code of conduct. We do okay. have a code of conduct. I just want to make sure everybody is aware that there is a code of conduct. Everybody here on the stream has read it, has adhered to it. Everybody on Twitch, you should be reading that. You should be knowing about it. Once again, there is a code of conduct. That doesn't mean that we can't have fun with this. Uh, we are rated M for mature. So walk that fine line. <laughs> so the players are now going ahead. They're getting their answers to their prompts. Uh, this is not the drawing portion of the episode. So there's at least that, but uh, and you do get to backspace at least, as you'll find out in our later game. There's no undo and no erase. You can erase in this one. And don't forget, players, you're going to get two prompts. So if you're sitting trying to spend all your time thinking about that first answer, you're going to have a bad time when it flips to the next one. So we'll 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 keep that in mind. Now the fun thing, uh, even though I helped write most of these prompts, I've already almost completely out forgotten out almost all of them. So points. it's always a, a fun fun surprise when when things come in. I let oh, I literally reviewed those prompts last night and I, I don't think I remember any of them. All right, here we go. Yeah. Now our first answer. Um maybe. It's go time. There we go. It's go time, as Schmidt has just said. So the first thing we have here is let's find out what our players thought of the worst place to store your AWS credentials, which is either in parlor <laughs> or in your underpants. Uh, so again, remember, well. if you join the audience, you can vote on your favorite answer. Players vote on the one you think is, is the best as Sounds well. Sounds like the same place. Parlor. They are the same yeah. picture. <laughs> is there a difference? Yeah. Topical. <laughs> And oh boy! Let's see. Let's see who who won this one here, and all, right, all the down. votes went go. to ah Stormy with the parlor topical joke, and the audience agrees. Nice. So yeah, there you uh, go. That said, there that go. said, I mean, Chris does work at AWS, so if she says don't store your credentials in your underpants, that's a good thing. <laughs> the title of my that's... next conference talk. I'm taking notes. Oh God, out of time. Which could also be what somebody wrote, just trying to fill out the prompt, or a good name for a conference talk. What can possibly go wrong for Deborah? 
I gotta admit, I'm liking the sort of existential dread oh. element mm. of that first one. Really. Honestly, I've watched both of these just talk. Or what could even be a subtitle of the other? I would watch that talk. I would do yeah, that. Exactly. Fair. I yeah. This is a tough, a tough Either way uh... round, I'd watch that. Ah, the audience as might be the out of time. Oh! 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 Crash and burn! Crash and burn! <laughs> <laughs> what do we I have think those next? Were pity oh, words. my worst LinkedIn endorsement. <laughs> either always happily on call or only caused one major okay, catastrophe. Uh, That's like my best LinkedIn endorsement. I don't know, man. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm endorsed on, among other things, um, salads and uh, <laughs> WordStar on LinkedIn, thanks to Julian Dunn, the master of LinkedIn endorsement trolling. So, LinkedIn endorsed by Ambigas. Oh, here it comes. Oh, but the audience Ooh. could. Oh, nope. Yeah. Nope, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, it just is. the one though, just the one. Just the one. Well, yeah, if it's only just one, the one that we know we about. You have to have paused at least one. The next it's company so that AWS is going to put out of business is it? Is it? <laughs> is it sick actually, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite? <laughs> 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 the DMV or Sun, huh? Yeah. Are we talking the sun? the sun, as in the, the solar body? body? The, the sun, I, I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> I assumed Ooh. that it was Sun Microsystems. Ooh. See, Actually, audience? Sun can neither confirm nor deny. Audience, very this is where you see you matter. Ah. Yeah, the audience. Ooh. The audience is super important. way to get more Twitter followers. Ooh. Shit posting or thought leader <laughs> thirst traps. The thing is, is both of these at the same time. Right? It's the same picture. Yes. Someone been waiting my Twitter. Well, both Twitter. Both of these at the same time are Kat Cosgrove's Twitter account. So. Yeah, well, you know, not to name drop Cat Cosgrove, but Cat Cosgrove. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. <laughs> now that it's revealed that one of them was mine, um, it absolutely was what oh, I was thinking. But look! See? Oh, look, the audience! Yes! Oh, 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 oh. 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 a horror, DevOps horror movie. Dev, Dev SecOps a Duke or Close Encounters. Oh no, no, there's no, there's no Agile in the middle of Dev and Ops. Doesn't yeah. count. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Agile V2. I've heard. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that just waterfall? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, faster oh. than that. <laughs> Ooh, shots fired. It's water upside down. Yeah. It's waterfall with more stickies. Waterfall. I like the idea of waterfall happens. upside down. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh... <laughs> Should be like DevSecOps biz dev something something like one of those really long. Ago. There's the audience. <laughs> no, 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 but that, no, 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 that's no bother to fans, oh, please. Uh, no, YAML's just way scarier. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, a discarded <laughs> name for an AWS service. AWS Systems Manager, Manager Man. Yeah. Paul. Well, what happened? Paul. I knew that was Cobus. <laughs> yeah. This is my first time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. break. It's my Next first day. Up. Cobus, you won by default. Oh, so maybe you yeah, could have gotten an idea here for this. this. Dev, DevOps FinSec. Oops. Dot IO. It rolls These off the, the tongue. same picture. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's an acronym, of course. Oh, I thought Lord. DevOps gives you nine fives and you need an SRE to do five nines. I mean, at least I can <laughs> Google DevOps five nines co-ops 1.0. <laughs> Yep, fair, it's Googleable. There you go. Audience agrees. <laughs> nice. Oh, I'll never forget you, round one. But now it's time wow, that was exciting. Scores. That was exciting. Okay, where do we stand after the first round? Lucy dominating. Oh, yes. dang. But, Ooh. but, Ooh. but, in the second round, all points are doubled. So you got you know you got your your feet under you. You're like, okay, I see how it goes. Zarkowski's out Except of excuses, <laughs> and now you're gonna get two more two more prompts to kind of see they go. One fun fact about hosting DevOps party games because I play Jackbox games with my kids a lot, or you know we'll kind of get on a Zoom and play with friends. I can't play these games without narrating them anymore, like this. So that's a that's a un, unknown side effect of hosting a virtual game show. The last time I played the Jackbox games actually was with Stormy, and uh, she destroyed Damn. me. So <laughs> yeah, looking forward to <laughs> putting up big points in this one. 
it's no shame in losing to the best, but that means you do have to win, Stormy. I'm just letting you know yeah, that. Yeah. Now. <laughs> so then you will lose you. to the um, best. There is much time to be had before we see who climbs the thought leaderboard. Which is Did we reset the, way, the thought leaderboard for season not. two? Of course not. It's the thought <laughs> Why leaderboard would is do incredibly something like that? Empire, <laughs> But request. a separate EMEA leaderboard. We we will. We do have we do have issues in place to kind of number one have different thought leaderboards for the leagues and also make it because basically the more you're on the show, you're heavily uh, be, uh, optimized or, or weighted to, to, to climb the thought leaderboard, and really it exists most. Well, but that's that's thought know. leadership, though, right? It is. The more it you is. thought. Noise. More okay, you round two. Uh, Let's see. That is how it works. Yeah. So basically, I thought therefore I lead. Yeah. Something like that. Ooh, the fourth <laughs> pillar of a ah. Oh, the fourth TMI. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no! No, yeah, that's a. Uh, oh no. I am, yes, I like TMI, TMI you know, it's like uh, things you care about, and also, you know what, there's, there's a lot of things Wait, hold on, hold on. I don't want to know. <laughs> so, well played, Shurhone. Yeah, <laughs> audience thing. Oh, <laughs> audience pulled. Indeed, indeed. Well played. Oh, look at oh. that. Oh, yeah, nice. All right, all right. Yeah. I'm Plus one for the monolith, not, not, not so much of a microservice crowd. So okay, fair <laughs> DevSecOps really means same shit, but bigger hey, paycheck. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's going to be odd. Uh, again, this is the uh, same picture twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it can be both, but, you know, it's maybe one a little more than the other. Cons conspicuous, lack of, conspicuous lack of printers. Yeah. In that you can fix statement. So. Oh, the audience will decide. Oh, Ooh. snuck, squeaked it out there. Uh, oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> also, I, you I go. apologize for longtime party game viewers. I've been pronouncing Paul's last name properly the whole time, and that's off brand. Uh, <laughs> the real root cause is drunk RM RF slash. <laughs> that was me last week while I was on call. Yeah. <laughs> it's never, never day in it. Don't worry, it's not okay, I wasn't drunk, but uh, I did that I, type something wrong. I actually <laughs> sat next to somebody who did the, the RF, RF one, and it's like, literally, you see that the reaction that second of realizing what they just did. Yes, it's that. Yep. Oh, All color drains from the face. Oh, yeah. And of course, if you run RM FR, you'd only delete French files. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, why is Austin a better DevOps party game host than me? I, I may have snuck this prop. I may have uh, snuck this prop in there uh, while no one was looking. <laughs> Dan is but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If if you do that French RM one, doesn't it first argue with you before it wants to delete the files? <laughs> you have to type the hash dash and confirm, but in French. First, we take a nap. <laughs> then, then we delete oh, the files. <laughs> it absolutely goes on strike. Oh, audience deciding again. Ooh. Cookies. Aww. It's true. Do you make a mean cookie? Ouais, c'est vrai, c'est vrai. Mon cookie game, c'est un point quoi. This was probably hard, but okay. Well, the only good thing about virtual oh. is it, it, it is true. You do not have to wear pants. <laughs> so is this? We're, so we're is scared. this the point we lost? I mean, for How the second one, done this? As a, a, you can do that in person like, too. <laughs> So just just we can do them both in quick person. Like we invited back. Wearing pants tonight. <laughs> just, yeah, I was going to ask. Like, we just confirm everyone is, is it, wearing pants. Wouldn't yes, the no? second one be Stallman anyway? Right? Like. Oh. Yeah. Uh, no, no, that's did not your, be that's your oh. Didn't they eating something off your foot? Oh, oh your foot. I was. Okay. Wow. I was actually wow. at that. Well done, Stormy. <laughs> well done, Stormy. Well done. <laughs> the only joke worse than a can't exit Vim joke. Oof. Using Vim. Oh, shots fired. Oh. <laughs> How very oh. bad. <laughs> Man, I, you know what? I've had enough of this Vim bashing. This stream is over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a problem with Vim bashing. I just have a problem with lazy jokes. <laughs> so see also the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the My new resolution, my new year's resolution is 1440 by 800. I'm like, yeah, okay. You make that joke every year. Yeah, so that's everybody else. Nice ah, I like in the, the chat. The you know, I can't exit this joke. Boom. Oh, <laughs> L in thanks, Oh, Appreciate that. oh, wow, these are good. 
<laughs> Culture, automation, uh, lies, measurement, and sharing. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Jez meant all along. It's all lies. And you have to say it in the Jez humble accent. I think it's only <laughs> lies when you're doing enterprise DevOps. That's true. That's what the L in enterprise DevOps stands for. D digital transformation. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and oh wow look at that it was a oh, look at that wow. Wow. Well, that's that's wow. very rare oh wow wow well done the best way to improve virtual conferences is yes host them in animal crossing it's, it's, <laughs> i'm gonna tell you deserted island devops was the best virtual conference of 2020 but it was that virtual was. lines of Cocaine? <laughs> it, uh, it had no, that's the best. I mean, that's... swag, which is the best kind of swag. Yeah. I'm sure there are some virtual lines the way you're thinking about it, Paul, in some of these conferences. That's at reinvent. Uh, but it's all reinvent. Oh, you... Is. But hosting them. No, but I mean, didn't they? Didn't they ship you your treadmill so you can walk for 15 right. minutes before you can attend any of the they virtual sessions? They don't the virtual lines. All right, so let's see where we stand after round two. Because everything and It's going to be ugly. It's going to be ugly. It could be an upset. Oh, well, dun, Lucy's still dun, dun, up dun, there. Dun. Still continuing oh! storm. Oh, 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 my God. <laughs> the now, plot thickens. <laughs> now we come into... This is the hard one. Not that they've been easy. So in the Thrip Lash... <laughs> You're going to get one prompt that has three answers. And ideally, they did a really bad in this one. Sometimes they give a good example of how to do it. But, like, it's really helpful to make the joke build through the three. You know, there's a little bit of a pro tip with that. Isn't, but the, isn't the perfect answer just three Ian Coldwaters? That could do it for you, yeah. <laughs> the uh, uh, a honk of Ian's is the plural noun, I think. But, uh, yeah, so, and you're going to only get the one, and one other person will get that same prompt. So there's there's four of them. And I don't want to talk about how much time I had to spend on the math to make sure that I knew how many prompts to put in for this particular thing longer than um, I would like to figure out that eight people doing two pro one prompt is the same other person meant four prompts. That took me, like, ten minutes to figure out. So Can confirm. I've seen the spreadsheet. It's yeah. enormous. <laughs> I'm always like, wait, is this right? But these are, yeah. And so for, for new uh, people who haven't been watching all along, before Quiplash 3 came out a couple months ago, we were playing Quiplash 2, and which did not have um, the Thriplash. And you couldn't do custom content for the last round. The last round in old Quiplashes, everybody gets the same prompt. And we couldn't put in custom content. And it invariably was something completely code of conduct inappropriate every single time. But... Out. The website logsquirt.io did come out of uh, out of a uh, quip flash prompt, so there's you know it's not all bad. Let's see where we get with this uh, thrip flash. I need my soundboard hooked up. So Let's, see those. Let's see what we got here. Oh, the custom prompt thing. First, we've got three reasons to not deploy on Friday. If you raise the bar, that means 50% of the team are worse than you. Or because you're drunk after 4 p.m. Or Black... Probably was going to be Frid? Black Friday. <laughs> Maybe it's supposed to be Black uh, Friday. I mean, it does preface with drunk. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is method uh, Jackbox playing here. Right? Yeah. I mean, we are drunk after 4 p.m. Exactly. Wait, if you raise the bar, doesn't that mean 50% is also better than you? Okay. Enough with your logic. Oh, the three things I'm to include in, the in your DevOps now. transformation. Pseudo, curl, and bash. <laughs> or a cold water, Ian. Something about people. And add some honks. So. Oh, oh boy. A, I like both of these very this much. Is a tough, this is a Ooh. tough one. Yeah. Jeez. I think we need to. I mean, do you go, do you go with the obviously funny one? Or do you go with the obviously true one? <laughs> Which one of that one? Well, we're... Oh! Ah, but the audience. Ah, oh, there it is. Audience. Goes yeah, that's audience the audience went with coming. The true. Through. That was a tough one. Good that job, might, audience. That might be the screen cap for the show. Uh, three contributing factors to our last incident were the Stack Overflow Mark Dancer and tequila shots. <laughs> or not my circus. Not my. Not my what? Not, not my. Not my full stack. Not my. <laughs> not my best dancer. <laughs> <laughs> So, 
not so my there are three player. contributing factors. We're all clear on there's a difference between right. two and three, yes. right? <laughs> That's... I'm telling you, Dan, you but... haven't done this. It's coming up with getting through three things in the amount of time you have. Is, you got to be kind of quick. I'm... Well, to be sure, tequila Let shots me... is plural, so I guess they're through there. miniature keyboard issue. Oh, okay. They, they, may, oh. Have, they, they Ooh, may have gone wow. offline oh. by the by point three. Oh. And I think we have one Ooh, more I... one more Ooh. round or one more answer. <laughs> three reasons to, to not shots. migrate to the cloud. Do the cool DevOps stuff. I don't know. Profit. It's other people's computers, <laughs> cloud bleed, or it's soggy. Okay, choose your favorite. <laughs> 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 it's other people's cloud bled soggy computers. Oh. I don't want to be touching that. Oh. I mean, li living in the UK, where it is basically living in a cloud and it is soggy, I can very much relate. <laughs> so, yeah, oh, okay, fair enough. Oh, this is that's a big one. I feel like Stormy yeah, that's is going to run away with this game here. <laughs> I hate to hate with Lucy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I told you. I told Let's you. See, she's the ringer. To, as we come in for the. Uh, Final scores. Wow. Oh, With a Oh, oh no. So Stormy <laughs> is our winner of uh, Quiplash. And with that, um, we take a, a couple looks here. So the top answer was Close Encounters of the Yamal Kind. So pretty, pretty impressive. Um, we're going to go ahead and get things set up for our second game um which is drawful uh dan why don't you talk for a minute yeah for sure i, I would ha be happy to talk because you talk a lot matt i i do <laughs> i do i apologize for that <laughs> So what's the deal with Drawful? The idea of Drawful uh, is right there in the title, right? It's awful drawings. There's a little bit of strategy to it. We actually went through it with the players ahead of time. I'm not going to rehash it here. Drawful's a lot of fun times. And it's not so much about can you draw the best drawing. It's more about can you convince other people of what you have drawn, which is actually a little bit different, a little bit fun. Once again, uh, and I do want to say this out loud, thank you to everybody playing along with us live on Twitch. Uh, the crowd participation, the audience participation, obviously a big influence on the points, on the way the game is played. So uh, if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, uh, definitely join us live if you can, because Twitch is good times and we need those votes. The players need your votes. Uh, the crowd participation is a big part of what makes this work. Uh, so everybody is, so the players have all joined. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and share the screen because it's it's safe to do that. Uh, Lucy, don't push um, don't push start just yet because the players also get to draw pictures of themselves, which are going on. And again, you can join the audience uh, if, the same way you did in the last one by going to jackbox.tv and entering the code IREM. Uh, I think everybody is. Oh no, we're waiting. Sir Hot still drawing himself, or whatever he would like to represent himself. Okay, Lucy, go ahead and push everybody's in on your device. Sir Hot, that's your magnum opus. That's gonna go down in time. <laughs> you don't I know. Can I just say that down. pencil is wonderful. Yes. Sure is what happens when you migrate to the cloud. is also quite impressive. <laughs> So the players are all getting okay. prompts on their device of something they have to draw. And like Dan said, they want to draw it in a way that people can guess what it is. After they've done that, each drawing will be presented one at a time. And the players have to then give an answer for what that drawing could be in a way that might fool other players or the audience into thinking it is the correct answer. And then things happen and, you know, whatever. Just, like, wait a couple minutes. You'll see how it works. It's going to be fantastic. But definitely join the audience so you can uh, you can vote and also upvote because in this game, like on Twitter, you can get likes and that's an additional way to earn points for the thought leaderboard. Don't forget, you can still smash that like button. The thought leaderboard, by the way, is a, a real thing uh, in that it exists. It is less of a real thing in that it matters. But it is a real thing. <laughs> and crowd participation is a big part of that. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, 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 the pencils are breaking. That means we're getting close to a conclusion. Crawling, crawling <laughs> towards victory. Pencil is no help. 
<laughs> Crawling Toward Victory, the DevOps story. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, next next quarter we're gonna make it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It'll be implemented in quarters. <laughs> All right oh, then. I, 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 I I a, really, we're just taking our time. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. All right, here we go. Okay, so players, uh, be ready. Here is our first drawing that we need to figure out. Uh, oh, also, this makes me think we did dis did discuss with the players that words are okay, but they can't be you know words that are in the answer. And as we like to say, if it feels like cheating, it probably is. If you're watching along and don't know this, the other thing to know about Drawful to keep in mind for our players' additional challenges, there's no erase, but you do get two colors. But you don't get to pick what the colors are. <laughs> and again, as the someone who of wrote race. the prompts, I don't have the slightest idea what this one was. So <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> oh, wow. This will be, this will be. Uh, and if you're in the Twitch chat, feel free to... Uh, Post in the chat what you think it might be, what your answer might be. This is definitely the end of episode three, I think. So it's not the stick figure, apparently. My gosh. There are some good possibilities here. I, I like thread. <laughs> Google <Netflix>. Cloud Print. <laughs> yeah. Thread, yeah, you know. Cloud thread. Print. Yeah. <laughs> thread Necromancy is pretty fun. I like that one. Yeah. Uh, collaboration mm. is is good. Uh, I see that we have been drinking a little bit this evening, maybe. Uh, <laughs> this is the Amea edition. <laughs> whatever, whatever will get you where you have to go. Is, is <laughs> in in that they are up above something, uptime could work certainly. That's true. Yeah, yes. fair enough. <laughs> Front end. All right. I feel like if you don't accept junior developers, you don't deserve senior developers. <laughs> this is true. Wow, getting real on the feed here. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Nice pull. Lots of points for, for Kai there. Now, the problem, yep. as you will see also, is if you're too good, you'll get a bunch of people will have variants on the same one, and then you might not even get the right answer because... Lucy drew it well enough that everybody knew what it was, but apparently there's a difference of opinion about whether or not there should be a dash in postmortem, and you know, <laughs> that's what we got. So I actually wrote it without a dash first, and it told me to uh, please alter your title because it's too close. Right. Yeah. So, so it will tell you if you put in the right answer, it will uh, tell you it's too close. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Well, it looks like somebody was upset about something. Maybe the fire extinguisher <laughs> yeah. next to them. I don't so know. That's why we call them retrospectives because <laughs> nobody died. Yeah. Well, what if somebody did die? Well, then it's a then it's Well, then you probably work in medical devices yeah. or <laughs> well, <we> AWS. <laughs> or or oh, AWS. Oh, I like... Yeah, oh. yeah. We're getting some good answers in the chat. Fire. Which I'm not going to share them on the stream right now because it might help influence you as you're typing them in. But I'll tell you the one that I, I kind of liked about this one. Are they attacking a beehive at 2 p.m.? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that might no, wait, well, be the clearly. Problem. It, <laughs> this is the EMEA edition, so that's oh. very clearly 2 a.m. 2 a.m. We use 24-hour mm. time. Well, We're not savages, a, Matt. Maybe this is an observability <laughs> reference. Maybe it's a honeycomb <laughs> thing. It's a beehive. I don't know. Here are your choices. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of pager duty. Answers. Yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> pager, pager, odd call, pager. Yep. Uh, callbacks always. Uh, hot there. <laughs> Well, as as the only person that's actually on call, on the stream right now, Sir Hat, <laughs> how are you feeling about this one? Yeah. <laughs> is this tempting? Yeah, I'll genie. My my answer. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to live on the edge. <laughs> I too like to live dangerously. <laughs> <laughs> Pager duty, or as Corey Quinn likes to refer to it, wake up, asshole. Oh, uh, oh, it's the funny night because before it's true. the blameless postmortem. <laughs> Fair. Fair. <laughs> yep, this is not going to go well. <laughs> Page of Duty shaking around over there. I the, wish the I could get. The inclusion of 2 a.m. Is, is the thing that gets me because I don't know. When I worked at Page of Duty, my examples of getting woken up in the night were always at 2 a.m. So I'm like, all incidents apparently happen at exactly 2 a.m. 
It's the witch I mean, that's been my experience. Yeah. Not not three, not two thirty, not one, exactly. but two. It's convenient because I'm still I'm still like a damn. And the answer was DevOps engineer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here's the oh, thing. That is, that is an accurate representation. Yeah, it is. It is. It so, is. Yeah. Because all such I mean, admins have relabeled to DevOps. Now they're just <laughs> still being called at 2 a.m. Uh, yes. Uh, Michelle in the chat says 2 a.m. incidents are the proper way to be ISO 9000 compliant. Enter your name. <laughs> 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 Dropping truth bombs up in here. All right. It's like uh, a, it's like a container warrior. <laughs> so what? Okay, so what? So what is this? Kubernetes kind blah, and he's clearly holding a. It's clearly holding a sword. It's a sword. It's a. It's it's a container it's a sword. warrior. So it's I think a sword. container <laughs> warrior is going to be yeah, a huge prompt because I really like. Thanks that. for stealing my 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 answer, man. Oh shit! Sorry. No, there's some yaml going on here, right? No, well maybe it's you know what? Maybe it's a ruler, you know, like a. You know, because you're a slide ruler. Because if you're a YAML engineer, you need that to figure out where you are in the indentation. It's it's a whiteboard interview for a Kubernetes engineer. Oh, there you go. Yes, it's a it's a cloud engineer. What? what, what, what ah, I blew it. What Paul said was funnier. <laughs> Sam, I'm I'm at like the, the the settlers of Catan phase where I just start trying to screw other people up because there's uh -huh. no way I'm gonna win. That's true. You play yeah. Spoiler. That's yeah. absolutely oh. a valid strategy. That's Fight for sure. is my yeah. <laughs> That's like my my son likes to play what he calls third imposter when he plays Among Us, where you're not the imposter but you act like oh. one just to confuse everybody. And I I don't understand why it's fun, but I guess I'm not 11. I gotta be honest with you, Maddie. That's brilliant, <clears throat> and I'm stealing that idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm very concerned that I see my name on the screen. I was gonna say like feel a little called out there. Right? <laughs> Yeah, uh, especially since I've never run for like just for that. Yeah, <laughs> that should that should get a bonus like that's for sure. I I, I would I would uh, upload that one for relevance. you know having spent time with Kobus, can confirm. <laughs> he swings swords at, at Yaml. I think he's got a LinkedIn endorsement. I don't know. <laughs> oh, he got at least got a vote. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, not only a like, oh, but actually, oh. nice. So, Ooh, confession time, back. I've never run Kubernetes. Oh. <laughs> Got a couple votes there. You have pulled in a couple yeah, YAML strikes back. Very nice. But have you owned a sword? Yeah. That's an achievement. Uh, Paul with the YAML engineer. The YAML Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Yeah, alright. Yeah, right. right. But the real answer is... Death by YAML. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Butter got robbed. Yeah. Well done, Stormy. Well done. Death by YAML. Uh, otherwise known as YAML and Vim. Fair. Uh, fair. Kai is, Kai is doing pretty well so far. You see, then they would get a cool on Q. The game is young. And now. <laughs> <laughs> so okay so this is a valid question what is it <laughs> right <I> mean... <laughs> if you look at when it's your your drawing on your device it'll uh say something like you know well this is your drawing i guess you drew it or some other kind of passive aggressive little snarky thing well see so what do we got here we got a podium yeah right uh one two three so we got some medals We've got uh, an individual with a, frankly, amazing uh, sort of a hairdo, some sort of an afro going on there. Or somebody said maybe uh, it's a cloud. And here are your Is it a cloud, indeed? <laughs> I, I typed Devops the right Party answer by uh, yeah. accident. <laughs> well, I mean, that's obviously the cloud it. wars. <laughs> <laughs> The, um, I would like this to have been my last keynote. I got to be honest with you. If this had been my last keynote, I would have been pretty happy <laughs> about that. Up on a podium with a gold medal around my neck, everybody applauding, champagne, squirting you're, it all over everybody. I don't see That's the people great. applauding, Dan. I think you're imply you're inferring that they would exist. There's projection here in yeah. a good way. Answer. Maybe we should do that for the organizers for the next Dev Upstairs. Like I have to say, I only just figured out how the bonus points works, and um, 
the extra Haven't likes. Been doing it right. <laughs> yes. Sorry, folks. <laughs> A couple of points for the thought leaderboard. Good shout out there. Fair enough. Keep it I real. I like winner of the Cloud Wars. That's my favorite one. I yep. too. <laughs> yeah, I like the sort of Mad Max yeah. thinking there. But I'm pretty sure this was the actual answer. No. Oh, it was not. How could that have not been it? <gasps> no, oh, it's it thought was, leader. It was said, oh, yeah. yeah. Of course. Of course. Oh. Sorry, Lucy. Damn words. Yeah, so it's Lucy who said Damn that. words. Yeah. So as it turns out, words have meaning. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Words mean things? Oh. Let's take I'm pretty sure words oh. don't mean things. That, that kind of thing. Interesting. That's a nice... <laughs> well, I don't want to... I don't want to give this one away, but it's a bird and it does say Kelsey. <laughs> so... I don't know if we're getting some sort of a building. It's very tall, like some sort of a tower, very high tower, maybe. <laughs> uh, oh my god! <laughs> I like <laughs> the chat. Thought winner. You have a thought, thought. leader. You have a thought winner. <laughs> oh, oh, Anders, you're yes. you, you're the thought winner in my heart. I do like Rex. Is Rex is right? He says, "Why doesn't every conference announce winners among the presenters?" <laughs> <laughs> It's a new rule. New rule, Matt. There it is. All DevOps stage coverage going forward. Tiny little, tiny little gold. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, little, uh, you know, cup. You tried and, uh, trophies. <laughs> Presenters should announce winners among the attendees, and the winners get to organize the next one. Oh! Then you don't want to win. Hightower. <laughs> so, Hightower. Hightower. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, again, you know, these are all the same thing. <laughs> so, I like to put really, yeah. DevOps the hard way. Oh. Yep, fair enough. That's the hard oh, way guide enough. that has yet to be written. Is the install DevOps. I am here from the DevOps startup. I'm here to rub some DevOps all over your stuff. <laughs> Please show me to your server room. Wasn't it Corvus who said that he, he, he rubs? DevOps thing, uh, DevOps Forget around that. things. Oh yeah, I rub DevOps on things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know that was funny the first time, and now it's just kind of a little bit gauche. <laughs> it... Oh, sorry. Does that go against the code of conduct? My bad. Yeah. I do. I do. Hi, Tower. What's really weird is the DevOps rubs him back. Right. Yeah, that's right. Oh. DevOps oh. the hard way, also known as safe. <laughs> when when DevOps rubs you. I for one am on board with DevOps rubbing. I just want to put that out there. Well, for a hot second, I mean, this guy's called Ruby Rubby. <laughs> that I was remember that. funny for a little while. DevOps Twitter. It was funny for two seconds. <laughs> Dev well, yeah, you know what? Yes. I could see that. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> There's a cloud, there's Kelsey, and there's the Twitter bird, yeah, right? You know, the Twitter you, bird. I mean, yeah. honestly, it's perfect. It's perfect. A goose. <laughs> if uh, it's Twitter logo, someone really is going to sue. Way. Yeah. Oh, let's What see. is it? Oh, I know what this is. It's how we make money. <laughs> it's... Wait, we're supposed to be making money? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently the iPad is not that impressive for drawing. I'll have you all know. <laughs> Someone play really cool thing about really cool thing about being a DevOps engineer is that all you have to do is press a bunch of plastic squares in the right order, and if you do it in the right order more than the wrong order, they what hand you money out. for yeah. it. <laughs> so it's don't tell really us well. the secret. Well, you can do it in the wrong order too, but then there's lots of paperwork and they ask you to like learn things from them. And if you're really good at like learning the things, they ask you to teach wow. people things. That's oh, oh wow. I'm pretty Ouch. sure that the one audience member of DevOps Party Games came from Paul. That's, I'm just going to make a prediction. Why would you assume that would be me? <laughs> looking, looking for those audience points. Yeah. I can respect that. I can respect gaming the game. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. There are, there are six people in the audience, in the, in the Jackbox audience. There are more in the 
in the stream, which by the way, I've had them at box. If you haven't joined the audience, like you should do that because that's, that's fun. And Pick you know. anything. Mentioned this before, but if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, please, if you can, join us live on the Twitch stream. It is super fun. Get in the chat. Get our players some points. It's a lot of good times. Zoom. Zoom. <laughs> was that it, is pretty much my Zoom experience. Was it unfair? <laughs> day that had like the advertising that was like, Zoom, Zoom. <laughs> I always think about that. No, it's Mazda. Mazda, okay, yeah. So clearly it was effective. I remember that part, yeah. but not who the car was. Hey, look at that. What a shock. <laughs> hey, there you I, go. Had to, I had to go for it for the audience. Come yes. on. Woo -woo. As virtual conference. Virtual conference. Yeah, well, you know, I... No. Nope. You gotta, you oh, gotta laugh. It to oh, it's virtual conferences. It's the plural. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh. I'm impressed with whoever got that. I mean, <laughs> it's very impressive. <laughs> the monitor stand is very detailed. <laughs> it's 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 what? It's that was a monitor stand? I thought it was feet. <laughs> <laughs> what? This, this was a combination of me being really, really bad and also oh, uh, a, a poor question. Oh, oh, so Paul is. Uh, uh, judging the prompt. That's right. I'm hearing to write better prompts for next time. Oh. I got banned from writing prompts for DevOps party <laughs> games. What? <laughs> that said, if you go in the chat, there's a link to a form where you can suggest prompts for future games. Um, oh. That's true. It's true. If you've got good ideas for prompts, please, for the love of all that is good and true, <laughs> That does your ideas and problems. if you haven't noticed, they don't actually have to be that good. Gotta open a pull request. Yes. The bar you don't even is, have to open a pull, pull request. request. Welcome. Not even a pull request. It's just a Google. It's, uh, <laughs> we have definitely used some for sure. So that's uh, and supposedly I'm supposed to remember who did the one so we can give them credit, but I don't. So uh, if you see prompt you did on here, then the real credit was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Maddie, just put it in the terms and conditions that you relinquish all rights. Done. <laughs> well, I thought it would be a nice thing. I was like, oh, and then if we use somebody's prompt, we can be like, credit so and so. Except there's no real good way for me to like inject that into the game, so I would have to remember. And if we haven't learned anything throughout any of our experience with Party Games, I don't remember anything. Um, it should not be. You also get a situation yeah. where it's like, oh, that's a really great prompt. Thank you so much, Parlor Fan Ninety. Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to the game at hand. So, what is it? <laughs> uh, there is uh, very, uh, no. It's very clearly uh, dependency injection. Trying to silence ops genie. I. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Oh, single oh, injection. I. Yeah, I'd say I would have thought it was like a dependency injection or SQL injection. Yeah, I like I like dependency injection. I'm not gonna lie, I like that one. Code injection. Antivirus. It, well, suggested. yeah. Antivirus. I like the use of the second color for whatever's yes. being injected. Yes. Yes. Well, <laughs> well, weirdly, it's not coming out of the thing. That's true. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Maybe it's extracting. <laughs> dependency extraction. I like I'm it. really interested to find out why you thought this was a good drawing for this. It's, it's not a good drawing what? for it. It's, okay, well, we it's the one you're injecting your dependency. <laughs> How do you even draw that? Come on. <laughs> That's a good point. How do you draw that? I don't know. You, you, draw, you draw a picture of Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, what do we An have? An actual here? imposter versus um, people who just have imposter syndrome. That's true, that's a hard one. You could just draw my face. Not that the audience knows what it looks like. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> so for those of you, because we don't have, we don't, we can't see anybody's faces, which is a real shame for this episode. Hopefully we get that going for it. Everybody on the stream is is a beautiful and wonderful. And Stormy has actually got a, a, a witch hat on right now, which is just fantastic. So... We gotta get those videos. I can. I will. Hey, you know what I'll do, Dan? Just so that it can. If everybody's okay with it, for when we go into the thank you screen, I think I've got my OBS set up that I can do a quick flip, and we'll just do that. Everybody, for a second, everybody can wait. 
Oh, in that case. Although I did also oh, tell you. everybody they weren't going to be on the stream. When Kobus is like, wait, let me clean up behind me. I'm like, oh, no, it's fine. And I'm like, hey, guess what? Now you're going to be on the stream. Ah. Here you go. Oh, oh, Lucy got her uh, just... ears on. Okay, what do we got here? Minesweeper. Nice. Sun Microsystems. I was thinking there was going to be a Sun callback. So mm -hmm. um, the mm -hmm. microscope mm -hmm. view of the AWS These are, floor carpet. Uh... <laughs> See, here's that situation again, These right? Do you, you go with the obviously, do you go with the obviously funny it. one? Or do you go with the obviously true one? <laughs> well, you vote for the true one, but you give the like to the funny one. There you go. Unless you're trying to tank the other likes. players. Right, right. <laughs> there's there's layers going on here, right? There's strategy. 12-dimensional chess happening here. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're playing Drawful, though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> DevOps players chess would be a much more boring stream unless we did like uh simultaneous. Is it observability? Wouldn't that, wouldn't that just wouldn't that just be two people drinking and crying and then flipping the table? <laughs> <laughs> what was the five day day? Pretty chess? much. And it was DevOps. Lots of gears. And See, DevOps obviously. day! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I almost didn't vote oh, for that. Oh, and here I we thought come if it's with the DevOps results. days, it should be an echo chamber. And our winner was Kai. But most importantly, who Woo! was the most popular? Who was most liked? Not whose stuff was most liked, but who was just overall most liked? Who was most popular? <laughs> and the answer there is Paul. Fantastic. Oh, nice. So that, uh, Shout out for Paul. Good job, Paul. I'm, I'm really proud of you. You did a good job. So Thank uh, you. I've come so far. You really have. You really have. Uh, Sorry, I don't have a button for, um, there it is. Okay. Well, I think we had a pretty successful um, DevOps Party Games EMEA edition. Uh, I also just realized if any of you, uh, shoot, I missed it. I don't know that we were able to capture the uh, the t-shirts because I think because I just quit Drawful unless anybody caught that link before it's gone. Anybody, you might have it on your device. That's like a link that will take you to the. Unless it. Keeps I'm pretty you sure out. you can go back to the room, which I still have here, um, and I'm pretty sure you see can if you see can the, if you can uh, grab that link. I screwed that up. Past games, yeah. Okay, okay. Can you yep, put that? You, yeah, you can see them. Okay, cool. Can you grab yep. that link and then pop it into maybe pop it in Discord? We'll put it on the actual. And same thing if you have the Quiplash one, put those in. We'll actually put them on the uh, on the website afterwards. So so Matt. For the benefit of the people following along at home, why is it that you're looking for this link? Oh, yes. Two reasons. Um, one is for the Quiplash, it's just it's fun to go back and look at them again. But the reason I'm looking for it is that we, number one, through the link through Jackbox, you could order a T-shirt from any of the drawings from the Drawful game. But we also <laughs> do create our own merchandise um, from some of the best ones that we find. And you can find them by going to uh, devopspartygames.com slash store. And uh, we have a couple really great shirts there. The reason we do our own is not because we're trying to make a lot of money, but because there's different options for fit and cut and color. Uh, one very popular one from a few uh, episodes ago uh, is a drawing of a big fire, and it says works on my capitalism. So... If you'd like a Works on My Capitalism <laughs> t-shirt, go to devopspartygames.com slash store. And, uh, yeah, I need, need one of those. Check that out. Um, I was kind of wrong that I didn't have, but I think I can do this really quick. If uh, <coughs> players want to like uh, wave wave hello really quickly, I think we can do that. Don't, don't do it right now. I, I just want to make sure you were okay with it. <laughs> I have to, uh, I need to buy all of these t-shirts. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I think this is what I want. There Wait, we go. Okay, what are you uh, holding? By the way, you're on camera right now, players. So give a quick Just wave. Just in case you're wondering, this, this is scale to my face. This um, is a yeah, very what, what is that? line. Oh, this nice. is a 12 Cabernet Frank Merlot. Very nice, sir. Very nice. And Dan would know the farm. Dan is that farm we went to for lunch out on near the coast. Oh, very nice. Is that the one where we had ostrich? Possibly. Possibly. Mm -hmm. There were many. 2019 Val de Loire. 
If you want to get in on this, just wait until uh, COVID-19 has been solved, and then you can come to my house. <laughs> that's, that's fair. I'll take you up on that. Well, we are so, gonna... Dan, just give us your address quick. <laughs> so thanks again uh, to uh, Stormy, Lucy, Sirhat, Paul, Kai, uh, Kobus. Did I forget anybody? I guess Dan, too. Yes. No, actually, thank you, Dan. So I just want to, before we kind of peace out. What about me, Matt? Oh, Sharon. And me. Oh. I thought I said Oh, and Chris. Okay. This is why I write notes. You're the worst. This is why I write notes. Okay. Also, this is why I prefer doing my podcast where I can edit it later. Um, (laughs) Sound like so much of an ass. But I do want to, like, definitely... uh, Special shout out, especially to Sharon and Chris, because I didn't do it the first time. But, uh, <laughs> oh my God, you know what I forgot to do? I, oh no. I never what did pushed, you forget? No, I never pushed the start captioning button. So I apologize oh, no. in advance that the stream was not captioned. When you go watch this on YouTube, there will be captions when it goes on YouTube, though, because that's the thing. Uh, I, I very apologize for that. But what I was trying to get to was the fact that we even have. A uh, Amia friendly time zone edition of DevOps Party Games is thanks to Frosty. Thank you, Dan, for he had been bugging me since the beginning, but then when I finally said, fine, but you need to do it with us. (laughs) And we'll be doing this. Thank you, uh, thank you both of you for doing it. Uh, I'm just, I'm just happy we could, I'm happy we could bring it to this side of the planet. I'm also happy that I could replace a bunch of your broken stuff with an air table. Matt, that's that's fair. Yeah, Dan, Dan is trying to figure out how to replace um, Twitch with Airtable next. So for the next episode, you'll have to log people's into Airtable. arms to get them on here too. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that being said, the next episode of DevOps Party Games that is in the more U.S. time zone uh, is going to be on uh, 26 Jan. So just a little bit less than two weeks. Um, I will announce here we've got seven of the eight players. We have an, uh, an eighth player we're still holding off on, and I'm going to see if I can get these, if I can remember. But it is featuring Corey Quinn, Kat Cosgrove, uh, Austin Parker, Ian Coldwater, uh, Cassidy Williams, that's five, Tim Banks, and uh, the folks behind Simpsons Against DevOps will uh, will be playing, oh. and then Ooh, we should be announcing gonna our them. player. Yeah, it should be a – Talk I do, about I, All-Star. Yes, it is going to be the middle of the night, though, for, for the EMEA audience. But you can watch it later. Or you can get up in the middle of the night. I don't know. I'm not your mom. I don't tell you when to go to bed. Um, I got to be honest. That episode that episode is going to be fire. And if any of y'all in the EMEA area want to do a late night watch party, I'm down. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, yeah. Uh, that's... Frosty, I'm in. There you go. There you go. You All right. It. You heard it here first. I, I have to take the next day of work off so that I can sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. You're working during COVID? I thought we were sitting at home pretending. <laughs> oh, Sorry, and you're giving away the secrets, COVID. Stop, stop. <laughs> View time. I'm, what are you doing? I'm also just going to say I haven't finalized all the prompts for that episode. So if you go to devopspartygames.com, look down at the link at the bottom for the form for suggest, suggest prompts. You know, maybe a prompt will get in to, uh, for, for that for that episode. Uh, but also, as Dan said, we are having now, we have the, you know, we also apparently have seasons. So welcome to season two of DevOps Party Games. Um, <laughs> but we have the league. So we have the, the, the EMEA and the, and the US one, or the Americas one. Um, I believe, so this month we have one episode in each uh, area. I think we kind of decided, though, starting in February, we're going to alternate. So there'll be one DevOps Party Games a month. And it will alternate which uh, time zone because we think this is super fun, but also that's getting to be a lot for you all to watch. So, um, but, you know, we'll see what happens. That being said, thanks again to everybody who joined our audience, who was part of the stream, who was part of the games, who helped make DevOps Party Games happen. And uh, we'll see you all in uh, about a week and a half. And see you on the internet. Hashtag DevOps Party Games.